Ah, nice, nice and clean. Now that the camera's clean, I can begin my video. Wait a second, you, you look a little scared. <laughs> Why do you look scared? Yeah, look, look at that, that's exactly your face right now. I mean, I'm looking at it. This is exactly what I see every day when you guys are watching. Well, it's a good thing that you're in the mood to be scared because I got three scary games ready to be played. So let's get down to business and let's, okay, got, uh, hello. Wow, that was really loud. That is really terrifying, actually. <laughs> Freaking hell! Oh god! The freaking what the hell is this place? What the hell was that noise? Okay, how's how's that? How's how's that? Oh my god! Yeah, I don't know where I am, nor do I freaking care because I'm terrified of like the freaking sound that's about to blow up my ears. <laughs> At least I know the audio is working. I mean, you know me with the trouble of the freaking Unreal Engine. That crap really freaking sucks for me. Let me out! Let me out! Okay, it looks like I can't get out through there. What is this strange place? Where exactly am I? Hmm, I can't be insane, can I? <laughs> oh, oh, I am very insane. <laughs> wow, what lovely paintings. I love what they've done. Oh, actually, you know, this one's actually genuinely pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This one, on the other hand, ah, uh, oh, is that like a baby? Oh, is that, is that PT? <gasps> oh, is this like a PT thing? Oh, that's... Okay. I've never played PT before. So this is an entirely new experience for me, like a PT style game. Well, we'll just have to see. Okay, that's the brain. Is that my brain? Did you guys scan my brain? I don't know why I'm freaking out, there's no sound. <laughs> I'm just prepared. A wheelchair, huh? Sure. I don't mind getting inside of it. What? I guess not. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll, I'll be right next to you. I'll, I'll, I'll be there later. Oh, a TV. Hello. I'm not blinking, by the way. This game is called Don't Blink. What just happened? Ooh, wow. They just said, fuck your frames. And immediately destroyed them. <laughs> I'm only at 30 frames right now. What? I can turn on and off things. Why? Can okay, you mind telling me what's happening? Can I go into the abyss and never come back? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, maybe if I look Oh! <gasps> oh. This wasn't here before. That looks like something from Amnesia. That is a really big... event, if I do say so myself. This vent is perfect for an average-sized human, like myself. Man, if only Gordon Freeman had these types of vents. How is... Okay, a key. God, what the hell? I didn't see that. I, my freaking head hurts now. Is there anything in there? Okay, I'm back here. So that was this little thing, I see. And there's a bed here. Oh. Is there... Oh. Uh, is... What? 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 On a death train? What is... What? What? <laughs> what is this now? Oh! No, no, no. Oh, no. This is Lucy's room. It can't be happening. This is a really crappy room if it's just this. Dun, dun, dun. I don't want to get copyrighted because that's copyrighted. Gonna make sure not to actually go inside there. Okay, so is this actually repeating? Because this is... Uh, what? Where is she? Where is she? Where am I? I don't know where I am. I see a tree. Gotta freaking I hate that. I used to play that on piano. What? What? <laughs> Jesus, dude, calm down. Lucy! Lucy! What, what the hell is this place? Is this- is it repeating? I think- I think it's repeating. I'm gonna go through this again and see if there actually is anything different. This is exactly the same- t oh, no, wait! Oh, wait, no, it is. Okay. And God said let there be lower frame rate! 
Yeah, look at that low ass free break. <laughs> God also said this game is pointless. Yeah, freaking there. There's nothing. There's nothing else. I think this game is just incomplete. There, there literally is not. I, I looped around like five times now, thinking that there was gonna be something else. I was like, wow, this game is actually really interesting. They might actually have something else. But no, like literally, it's it's incomplete. There's literally nothing else to actually do in this game. So you see, in the past, whenever I would play games like this, I would instantly shut it down and uh, never upload it to YouTube ever. I probably have like over a hundred videos of these types of games that will never see the light of day. You guys will never see those videos because it's just like this. I'll be like, ah, this game is completed in like five seconds and then I'll never upload it. Or the game just isn't really that good and, and I, I really don't want to upload something horrible like that. This is actually really great insight in showing you like, okay, there are some games that just really aren't that good. Not saying that this game isn't good. It has a nice setup to it, but Unfortunately, there's nothing else to it, and the creators are probably going to update it later on in the future or whatever. It is really weird that they would put a game out when it's not even complete yet, and it's just, you can technically say that about all games nowadays, but, but again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to continue on with this, this is just, this is bad. Anyways, on to the next game. Welcome to TV Night. You guys ever watch TV in the middle of the night with uh, your parents sleeping, and you, uh, wanted to watch TV? I, you know, it's just, midnight, mom and dad are asleep, exactly. Time to go watch TV. Oh, <laughs> diabolical. Mm. Oh yeah, by the way, this is also very pixelated. It's actually really cool. Oh. Ah, and a little Nirvana poster. A poster of my favorite band, Smash Mouth. Mm, yes, yes, exactly that. <laughs> oh boy, now I can't take this game seriously. Let's see. My stereo, it's awesome. And you got a nice headset. Cool, cool. I'm not gonna lie, Smash Mouth, pretty great, pretty great. Who is this? Is that Ashley Tisdale? <laughs> My poster of the best person to ever exist. Ashley Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, this is already pretty freaking great. Okay. I gotta sneak out. Gotta use my little like gotta got, that that was that was my that was indication of me like, you know, moving very slowly. Is is it carpet? Okay, carpet is fine. Look at that. Oh damn, I'm silent as a fox. Wow. Look at that. Okay, where am I going? What's this? I don't want to wake up my parents. Oh, that's my parents' room. Okay, get the hell out of here, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Well, it's just the house. I used to always do this. A little sneak, 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 sneak. Just be like, ah, yes. He's going down. They left the TV on? Oh, they did. Going downstairs is the freaking worst. Makes so much stupid noise. There you go. Okay. Ah, I'm here. Time to watch my SpongeBob. All channels show static. I better check the back. Oh, channel show static. What? What? There's a VHS tape here. I must warn you, kid, a random VHS tape in the middle of the night. Ah, uh, and your parents have not turned off the TV. Ooh, I wouldn't put that VHS tape in. Uh, not for the horrors, but for your parents' sake. Oh, what kind of cartoon is this? That looks like a, looks like a Disney cartoon. What? Find my tapes. I bet it's just mom trying to scare me. Why would she try to scare you like that? Another tape in the garage. The TV isn't getting any signal. Only the VHS tape seems to be working. I would like to know where the garage is. If you were to kindly tell me, is the garage here? No, this is... Okay, that's fine. That's really loud. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I love the trees. <laughs> They're literally right in front of the <laughs> of the window. Let's see. I don't want to go out. Okay. Right. Where's the garage? Is the garage uh, through your kitchen? Ah, there it is. Is that a... Yes, it is. I should grab that flashlight. Ah, that is not really much better. I mean, I guess for like if it's close up. Grab tape. Okay. We got ourselves another tape. That's really... Thick hedge clipper. Wow. So, some movies that I used to always watch on VHS was uh, The Iron Giant and also like uh, Bionicle. If you remember the first Bionicle movie? I watched them so much that the tape actually... The tape would lose its film at like the end of the movie. So every single time you would watch it, um, a piece of the end of the movie would get more and more corrupt. And as you kept on playing it and playing and playing it, <laughs> it kept on getting worse. So I couldn't remember what the ending was for Bionicle. So I was going to watch this bad boy. Oh my god. Good job! Okay, but there are still more tapes to find. Is this like Slenderman, but with TV? The storage room, that's right here. Yeah, the storage room is literally... Isn't this the storage room? What? 
That's my stereo. What? Ring a ling, ring a ling. I'm just making sure I don't I don't want to freaking like have any noise or whatever. Uh, I don't know why I just. Ha! Huh? You know what? Sorry, sorry. That actually that I don't know, for some reason they gave me a chill down my spine. I I don't know why. Mom, <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. Please, <laughs> I would wake them up. Are you kidding? Come on. Hello, mom. Oh no, where are my mom and dad? Oh no, <laughs> it's all a dream. This is all a dream. Oh God, are they inside the bathroom? Mom, did you get flushed down the toilet? No, you didn't, okay. I would not be surprised if I had a dream like this. I think I have had a dream like this once or my parents were completely gone. I was like stuck inside the house. Oh God, that is definitely the worst thing ever. Tape, give me that tape bad boy. Let's see what else we got. <sighs> oh, don't be afraid. Uh, your parents are having a hell of a time. That's my room. <laughs> They're having a hell of a time. Quotation hell. Not even plugged in. What's going on? Dude, you are freaking. That was a giant TV with sexy legs. What was that? Ashley Tuesday, was that you? Ashley Tuesday, guide my spirit. Ha. Huh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened to Smash Mouth? Oh. Oh. Should I leave? Okay. Talk about some freaking issues, man. What the hell? That's really not nice or cool at all. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna just gonna put that right there. So can you actually see myself pick it up? That'd be actually really cool. Almost there. What's that? I'm very, very close. My parents' bathroom. I hear something breathe. <laughs> oh, oh, mm, nah. Oh, I forgot what horror game did that. There was this one horror game I remember from such a long time ago. God, if you guys remember that horror game that I played, where they did that exact same thing where they were grabbing you. What's that noise? What? What? Oh, that's downstairs. Hello? Who is it? Can I look? Use people. I can. What? Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. I love the 2D landscape. It's... <laughs> It's pretty great. <laughs> I can't. I can't tell if this if this game is taking itself seriously or if it's like it's 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 its own thing, and that's what I really love about it. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, TV man. Where's the tape? There's the tape. Okay, I'm going. Goodbye, TV man. <laughs> I like the glitching. The glitching's really nice. Okay. I just want to watch the Iron Giant! What I like the most about you... You were... Oh god, the TV man the entire time! Not your is that nothing will stop you. Wow. Okay, not bad at all! That was TV night. You know, for, for what it's worth, I personally felt like it didn't really take itself too seriously, but at the same time, it was not, not bad. It, it really wasn't anything like super special, but it got the job done surprisingly well. It's, it's, it's like, it's like uh, with the VHS tape with uh, and The Ring, if you ever seen that movie, and how the girl will come out of the TV, but this time, no, no, no. This time, the TV attacks you. <laughs> Such an interesting concept. I like it. <laughs> it's just ridiculous enough for it to actually be scary. On to the next one. RBD presents Cabin. Welcome to Cabin. This is like widescreen. It's really weird. And it's also on a... I don't oh. wonder where I should park. Don't want to venture in too far. I'll need some place to put my tent. There's a trail. What's the sign say? Oh, fuck. What the heck was that? I don't know. I didn't even freaking see it. I literally did not see- you gave me like one second to look at it. <laughs> okay. Oh 
okay. This is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's widescreen, which is a really interesting uh, way to play the game, I guess. It gives like those black bars at the top and bottom, so it's kind of like, it's really cinematic. I should check my tires. Oh, okay. How, how's your tires doing? Oh no, my tire's blown. I should get oh. the gear from the bed of my truck and camp for the night. I'll worry about this in the morning. Uh, really? You sure? You won't want to call anyone? Anything? <laughs> okay, I, guess, I mean, it's your life, dude. I guess I, I, I just find some excuse to... <laughs> find some excuse just to go out uh, camping. So like, ah, oh, my car broke down. Ah, whatever, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Sleep in the middle of the tracks. I think that's pretty good. I should go to that trail I saw earlier. Ah, okay. It's definitely telling me where to go <laughs> a lot of the time because I have no idea what I'm Here doing. Here it is. Oh. The sign. Communal cabin up ahead. This must be one of those cabins that hikers share. I gotta check it out. How convenient. Man, it's dark. Good thing I have this flashlight with me. What was that? What? Was that a shadow? Or am I seeing things? That straight up looked like a dude in a deer costume. I have no idea what the hell that was. <laughs> I think that's the cabin right there. Oh, it looks like somebody's inside already. Uh, he hello? Knock knock? Hello? Is anyone there? Man, it's getting colder out here. Someone must be using the cabin. The fire's on. Maybe they left to grab firewood. Those three JPEG fires. <laughs> I think I should just go inside. I'm sure they won't mind since the weather's getting bad. <laughs> it's horizontal. I'm sorry. I'm finding too much stuff funny for this. I think I'm just shaken up from the tire blowing out on me. A snack will help calm me. Hmm. Which one do I want? Dark chocolate or almond? Hmm. You see, I love chocolate. I mean, I absolutely love chocolate. When it comes to nuts, my favorite nuts, I believe, is, is cashews and just regular peanuts. Uh, almonds, however, almonds, I would say, are my least favorite nut out of the entire nut tree because there, there's a nut tree. And for the longest time, I used to absolutely hate almonds until one day I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to eat some almonds. Just try them out because there's no other nuts to eat. And I ate almonds. I'm just like, you know what? These aren't that bad. And the thing about dark chocolate is that personally for me, I don't like dark chocolate as much as I like regular chocolate. Uh, I know some people absolutely freaking love dark chocolate. Uh, but to me, uh, dark chocolate, obviously, it's just that bitter taste. I, I prefer just the, the, the more sweetness to, uh, to regular chocolate. I used to really like white chocolate a long time ago, but nowadays I actually don't like white chocolate as much uh, as I like dark, as I like chocolate. Um, dark chocolate, however, I am turning around to that. I actually do like dark chocolate a lot more than I what I used to. Where am I going with this? Trust me, you'll, you'll figure out. You see, the thing is, especially in a survival sense, almonds are nuts, and nuts provide a lot of protein and lots of nutrients that could help you out in the future. So definitely, it is a best I, or the best I possible idea is to eat almonds. However, since I did in fact get into a car crash, my nerves are probably going to be going crazy. So dark chocolate chocolate and chocolate in general is a nice food to eat to increase your endorphins to, to help your nerves to really help you calm down so in a survival sense almonds would be better but I feel like for later on because I'm not exactly hungry right now um, I would actually prefer to have dark chocolate so that I can calm down my nerves exactly you see you see I like to think really big in a head because it's really really important especially in a survival sense I like to do my own horn I'm sorry so I'll eat the uh, dark chocolate yeah I'm, I'm down for that you see, I like to give reason behind what I eat. I guess he doesn't really care. Man, wish I got some appreciation for that. I guess not. I mean, at least I'm inside the cabin, so that's fine. What's this now? I don't know what that is, but there is some kind of bear out there that is trying to kill me. Please, whoever is reading this, be sure to call for help, because I cannot do this alone. And I might as well die in here. Just be careful out there. It might come after you next. Bob. <laughs> I love that. Bob. Thanks, Bob. What about this? Dear Jessica, I'm sorry if I haven't been really in touch with you. I have been busy doing the hunt with the deputy for this monster. 
How are the kids? Tell them that daddy says hi and I'll be back home shortly. Love you, Jason. <laughs> oh, Jason. Boogeyman. Something's outside. Uh, can I... Is it scratching the door? Why would you choose to open the door? Okay, get a weapon. Get anything you can. I need these JPEG images of fire and throw it at him. Okay, let's uh, let's let's open up the door. Cause that's the only thing we can do. <clears throat> There's something out there trying to kill me. Let me open up the door. Blood. What the? What the? Uh oh. What is happening here? I can't exactly move my I can't I can't move my mouse. What? Well, it it's literally not making me I can only move back and forth. Okay. So this is how it kind of is. Oh my god. What? It was the bear. The What? What? Why would you throw up? With what? <laughs> okay, I can't. Why can't you're not letting me move the camera? What? <laughs> Wait. Was that the piranha plant from Mario? RBD Interactive. Okay. So as you can see right here, this is made by a group of people uh, who made this little three to five minute short. It's a short interactive story. So it's not necessarily like you're doing stuff. It's more like you're just understanding the story, I guess. For what it's worth, it's really not that bad. It's just that it, it felt a little bit too finicky and I felt like for three to five minutes, I feel like it would definitely benefit if it were to be twice the length. So around five to 10 minutes. Cause the issue here is that in around three to five minutes, if you can't really grasp the situation in that amount of time, it's like when the suspense and scariness starts to happen, the game is already over. I was preparing and getting ready to be scared, but then it just, it just, it just completely stopped right there. Another issue that I see that you probably could fix is the fact that a lot of the jump scares or a lot of the scariness that is happening is like is in when the camera is actually moving by itself so it kind of gives away the suspense and like oh yeah this is about to happen right freaking now and, and literally the ending it took away my ability to actually move around the camera you actually had the camera was focused on something and you couldn't move anywhere else you can only move forward or, or backwards best part of the game was me deciding what i want to eat dark chocolate or almond <laughs> even though it had no relevance to anything at least i had the option to pick something and therefore i, I kind of felt a little closer to the character because because, hey, I fed him, you know? Um, so I feel like more stuff like that would be better and, whole, and possibly it has effects in the future. But personally for me, honestly, not that bad. It just, it just wasn't really that scary. And I feel like as they continue to make more games, they constantly get more and more feedback. They will continue to improve and get better at what they make. If you guys want to play these games yourself, I'll put a link down in the description to all three of them so you can check them out. And if you want to see more videos like this or any sort of video that I make, uh, you can click on this one, that one, or that one over there. There's... Those three games, um, you know, like just like how my intro, outro always is. I always say intro, it's really weird. And hopefully you got spooked. Unfortunately, I really didn't get spooked all that much. Uh, these games aren't really that scary, but they were somewhat entertaining. So I'll leave that there for now. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.